every rig in Blender has a bone layers setting as well. So just like there are layers in the object mode for the viewport, there's also bone layers for pose mode. So there's an amazing amount of flexibility here that you can use to hide and unhide sets of bones as you see fit. So this is the actually the Rigify rig, which you can learn about in the Rigify tutorial. And you can download this rig and model on the Blender Cloud for free. His name is Archibald, but the complexity of the rig here is very manageable because of these bone layers. You can actually hide and unhide the ones you don't want to see. There's also, of course, the option for Rigify where you can actually turn this on and off and just adjust the layers this way. But this connects directly to the bone layers here. Now, if you're making a custom rig, all you got to do is click the M key to move your bones to certain layers, just like you would for an object. So as you can see here, the bone is now in the first layer which is the only one there, and I can move that back to layer five if I want to. So that is how you do it. That is super simple, very, very intuitive, exactly the same way as you would use layers in the viewport, but it's very powerful, and I highly recommend you use it to organize your bone layers, such as IK controls and stuff like that. On top of that, we also have the option to create bone groups for organization, where you can color these bones. So Rigify actually already has a lot of these colored, as you can see, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to make your own bone groups. All you got to do is press the plus sign here, name it something like test or whatever. Uh, this is the default color set, but you can change it to whatever color set you want. These are the uh, ones that you can choose from, but you can also create a custom color set. So I'm going to show you exactly how that works. I'm going to create, you know, uh, some, some random colors. They're not going to look good, but like yellow. Actually, let's do like a bright green colors that we haven't used yet, like a magenta and uh, a uh, just a white let's just try white to see how that works and so what this does is all you got to do is have the make sure the uh, the bone group is selected and then I'm just gonna select a few of these bones you know maybe this one maybe that one and I'm gonna go ahead and hit assign and once you do that you'll notice the color already changes and um, the color is oh, look they're all green right now if I don't select anything they're all green um, and uh, what that means is uh, it uses the first color here so that just means the first color is the idle bone selection colors it means it's not selected now once you select it it should turn white which is the very rightmost color and then if you select multiple then the ones that are also selected but not the active object are purple so that's the middle color so that's how you choose your colors if you want to you know color your bones in a way that makes sense to you so yeah that's it for bone layers and bone groups